Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Brian. Behind me is a backyard pavilion I built probably two years ago or started on two years ago in our backyard. It didn't get much traction at first, but then in the age of COVID, a lot of people decided they must have needed the same thing because this video was, or this video series got a lot of views. So we haven't used it much lately just because in the summer it's full of mosquitoes out here and we're doing other things, but typically we use this more in the fall and the spring. So I want to show you a few improvements I've made, maybe give you some ideas of your own, and then we'll work on installing something new. Pretty sure the last video involved getting the electricity out here and installing it. So I ran two conduits, one for power and one at the time for coaxial cable. Because the idea was to put a TV out here. Since then I've changed my mind. I pulled the coax out and pulled in a Cat5 cable and hooked it to our router in the house because our Wi-Fi signal was a little sketchy. I mean, it, it wasn't horrible, but you'd get buffering if you were trying to watch videos, etc. We installed a Wi-Fi extender. Originally, I was going to extend the Wi-Fi, but I decided to hardwire it with the Cat5, so that Wi-Fi extender is actually its own little Wi-Fi, I guess, node you'd call it. Anyway, so we made its own network out here and then we hung up a TV. This is an old 32 inch TV I and mean, this thing's at least 10 years old, if not older. It was the second one we ever bought. So we hooked it up with an existing bracket and just mounted it up here and my wife found the cover for it. We installed a Roku device and it works fine watching cable, new, you know, sports, whatever. I haven't had any issues. And you can be on Wi-Fi also with your device and it doesn't seem to buffer. But what I'm not crazy about is this one exists. This was an existing bracket that we had, which just swings and pivots. So I'm not sure how this is gonna stand up to the weather. So my wife actually found a pull-down TV mount that we're gonna work on mounting in that corner. And I started a fire out here with limited success, and somebody's been stealing my firewood. The bracket we got is from Mono Price, and it's a pull-down meant to mount above a fireplace. So it has this big intricate drywall mounting system. So essentially it looks like this. There's a bracket that mounts to the wall and has some stringers that come out and catch your drywall. And then the arm goes up and down. So that would be what would mount to the drywall. Obviously we don't have drywall, so we can't use that. So um, what I've done, or the idea I've come up with, so yeah, it's more of an assembled view, is we'll eliminate the back half and use the front half. So I built this bracket, and I'll show you some of that here.
So that bracket roughly is going to bolt in that corner and that will allow the TV to tuck up away up there where it should be more protected and then allow it to swing down so you're not craning your neck watching it. When I got home I added this piece of steel I had laying around so it sits more flush in the corner since the corner of this post is square and the inside of that angle is curved this will allow it to sit more flush otherwise it would rock and not want to sit square. So at least for today I'm going to get this bolted up there. I've already done some measurement and guesstimation and figured out where it needed to be so we're going to shoot for about right there. Worst case I can always move this up and down. No one will notice a few holes. So I'm going to use the hardware in the kit and it called for a 3 16th pilot hole. Kit came with a whole string of hardware. We'll use those lag bolts out of it. I would imagine that's a 13, so I'll go find a ratchet, we'll get it bolted up, and then drill the rest of the holes. Don't worry, nothing's burning down. I'm trying to get a little fire out here, take some of the chill off, or the chill that's coming. Those of you following along at home, all this hardware is metrics. So that's a 13 millimeter socket. I must have had it flipped over the other way. I did. Try a little different battery. At this point, batteries are dying. It's getting close to dinner time, so I'm going to try to enjoy this a little bit. We'll probably catch up on this next weekend. The plans for the pull down TV mount aren't going to work. That TV won't fit that bracket. My wife's solution was to buy a new TV, but don't know that I'm ready for that quite yet. So, for right now, we're going to put the existing TV up here. It'll give more viewing area. And then in the future, we can get a larger TV, etc. We can reutilize that bracket in the holes. So it's been a few months since we last worked on this. All the leaves have fallen. It's actually the week before Christmas. So I may not have been clear the initial portion of the video, but I originally had a pull down TV mount where the TV could lift up into the rafters and pull down when you wanted to use it to keep it protected. Well, this old TV would not fit that mount. I made a standoff bracket right there to mount in the corner that I could mount that bracket to. Since that wasn't going to fit this TV, I just went ahead and mounted the TV on the bracket it was already on, which is a cheap Harbor Freight you know, swivel bracket. Works fine for this TV though. I ran Cat5 cable out here with its own Wi-Fi device and made its own Wi-Fi node. So the TV is actually hooked up on a Roku device which has plenty of signal and works fine. You can sit out here and watch TV, watch your tablet, your phone, whatever. It has a pretty good signal and it's been reliable so far. So I hope this gives some people some ideas how they can put a TV in their backyard pavilion or add Wi-Fi to it for its own Wi-Fi location anyway. Thanks for watching and subscribing. We'll see you soon.